Okay, so this is the uh, project I'm going to do with flowers. Uh, I decided I want to have vase. I did do one before, uh, which had a nice round vase on it. And um, it actually got snapped up right away. And that's a problem with some of the paintings. I mean, I've probably done over 100 now, but those paintings that I really like, as soon as I've done it, they get sold uh, and fine. But I sort of miss them. I get really connected to it. So I'm hoping this will be a similar one. And I'll just keep it out of the public eye just for a short while <laughs> while, I, while I do it. Um, I am tending to find now when I do my painting. I prepared this one earlier. Sound like a Blue Peter presenter. Um, but uh, I, I like to use acrylic spray paint because you can blend in. You can see this blending I wanted to do here. I quite like this light bit here. Purple, well, a lilac, it's uh, purpley. It's the colour magic, isn't it? Of course I had to have that. So I want a bowl here. I don't want a vase this time. I've done one with the vase last time. So maybe something circular here. Um, and I want small flowers. I've just got it in my mind to have light blue petaled flowers. Um, and I think I would like to have a little bit of white on the petals too. Uh, as you come down into the middle of the uh, of the petals, then what do you put in the middle? It could be black, it could be white, but you know what? I want a yellow. So I've just been trying to think of uh, colours, um, and I want this all one colour. So I think I want to have generally all the petals are going to be this sort of lovely blue. I quite like this one here. So I'm going to be doing this. It's um, cerulean blue. It's called quite like the shade of that so they're all going to be like this but I also want to try if I can so the mass of it will be here this is I'm telling you now so when I, when I finish you'll see how far removed I am from the ideas that are in my head <laughs> but by the time I've finished I want it to look like the popping out of you a bit here so in a in a, in a way the, the the petals and flowers that are all cramped around in this bit here will be a little bit lighter blue and then we'll go darker as we come here and um, to give it a bit of naturalness i want one or two petals that maybe be falling onto this surface here but uh, so that's the blue i quite like um for and then like i say i'm going to have some white in there too so of course that's the the basic arctic white but then the very middle of the uh, of each flower i quite like this yellow it'll just i think it'll just set it off so what else do we need we need sort of like stems and and maybe some leaves coming down as they as the flowers fall down here i don't want it to cover all i'm, I'm, I'm thinking something circular here as a vase um and i don't want it you know the flowers come down too far over the vase but underneath it i think it'd be nice to have some leaves so i'm certainly going to be using this green here so we've already got this lovely combination of yellows and blues and greens in here I quite like that um, um i might even mix this green with a touch of this yellow um and even possibly um, bring in a slightly darker green. I've got one here. Let's bring it over. Can you see here? In fact, I'll put it here. That makes me sure that I'll uh, start to use it. So the very first thing I want to do then is let's just get that uh, vase sorted out. There's going to be shadings on it that I need to have. Where the flowers are starting to encroach over the edge, it's going to have to be a little bit darker there, then that's fine. But um, And then obviously we want um, a sort of a, a shadow uh, or a reflection here so it's going to be a bit lighter on the vase so I want something what sort of size and I've already had a look and I've been looking at side plates and so on but here's an old an old vase fully enough here and I think it seems to be about the right sort of um, circumference really um, and the other thing is I just don't want it slap bang in the middle and let's do all the flowers no let's bring it across a bit so we have a bit more of a cascade of flowers coming down here it just I think will make it a bit more um, interesting so for now let's just try and position this where I think it's going to look just right uh, maybe a bit lower we want a chance for those and then I'm just going to go over it I've got a really soft pencil here this is just to give me an idea I'll do the whole circle around it 
and then I'll start to prepare all the paints. You don't really need to see me prepare the paints. It's uh, um, all I tend to do. There you go. So um, I've got a nice brush here. I quite like this one. See the angle cut on this one. You can really get a nice sort of a, hopefully a shape around this. Now, because I'm not a woman, um, I can't multitask. That is talk probably at the same time I'm painting because I'm trying to concentrate. We'll see how we go. <laughs> if I go all wobbly, it's your fault. So, um, all right. Um, like I said, um, the plan is to have maybe that magenta sort of coming around here. Um, I might have a touch of blue in it here, at this uh, top of the circle here. I'll maybe introduce a little bit more black, but we'll have a shine. I want this light source to come up through here. So we'll have a, looks like there's a bit of shine coming through here and maybe just on the bottom here. Anyway, all the talk, let's get on to putting some of this on. So, um, with gay abandon, I, oh God, can I say that nowadays in the context that I mean? Why is it like this nowadays? It's so crazy. Right. Well, we're not doing too bad so far. And I'm managing to talk at the same time as I paint. Um, what do you think? All right. Yep. Keep going, you say. I'm keeping going. Right. I want to keep continuing this around. All right. Good. Let's come on the other side. We don't need to worry too much about the top of the the, the vase here. Um, it won't look anything until I start putting some sort of a shading in there that just shows the light, highlighting it. Uh, let's come round on this side. Okay. All right, that's fine. And like I say, we'll be we will be putting some. Um, Uh, we will be putting some black down at the top there and a bit more. I decided not to mix it. You know, I said before I might put some of the uh, conditioner on it. Uh, but actually, I just want it quite vivid and strong. So I've decided not to mix anything else with it. This is just as it comes out of the pot. And I like these particular acrylics uh, colours. Um... No. Nice. Okay, that's good. All right, a bit more. You want to come around here now? You can get this really. It's a nice, accurate brush for th doing things like this. Um, I wish I was ambidextrous. I'm not being rude. For those people who don't know what that means, it means left-handed or right-handed. And but I'm sure you knew that. Okay. Uh, it's almost there. I'm going to leave that little bit there because uh, just bring it down here. So, but can you see already? Just doing that, we're beginning to get a shape of where I want that to go. Uh, that um, highlighting area. Um, sometimes, like I've done, you may not see it on there, but I've just splashed a bit here. And well, that's easy to get up. I'll just get a wet wipe in a second. Um, let's have a look at this. Oh, great. Okay. Um, all right. So we're beginning to get that little bit of a shine on it here, look. It's catching the light a bit more. Um, that in a little bit like this. Down, down here, up here. It's just here. I think 
like uh, just want to blend you can just see here this little bit here is too much of a hard line let's just take a bit more of the bluey white and then just spread it out a bit more if I can like this so a little bit of black okay I mean we're not going to see the top of the circle um, because there's going to be flowers coming over this and covering it a bit. I want to bring this over here though. Okay, then I can bring this down here. There you go. Okay, that's what we want to do. I think that's just sort of in the grand scheme of things. It will help, I think. Okay. Um, if you remember what I said before, I want to. I'm going to be essentially light blue, but there will be some flowers underneath. It will be a bit darker, but generally, around here, it's lighter than going very sort of gradually a little bit darker blue. So let's start off. I've been trying to find a, a brush that I think is going to work well. It's, uh, so um, the thing to do is just get going, really. So I thought maybe, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, could be quite good. Let's do some more up here. Start in the middle, for these things. So uh, how about those? Look all right. Um, there's really, uh, actually I didn't get around to filming, but you'll notice I've put in between each of the flowers the little stems that need to be in there, little green stems, put some leaves on here. Um, had a bit of a disaster in that I tried to, well, uh, we did the signature down here, uh, and it's an acrylic, uh, acrylic liquid white pen. And as soon as I pressed the nib on to write uh, my name on there, or signature, it exploded, so this whole area was covered with white. <laughs> so I thought, oh, it's okay, I'll just wipe it off, but it stained it all white. So I thought, it's not a problem, I'll get that same purple that we had used here, the acrylic spray paint, and I'd run out. So anyway, uh, I've managed to get it back to looking somewhat like normal. So I've just got to finish it off today. So to finish it off, I'm putting in um, right in the middle of each each of these uh, flowers some um, a yellow, a little dot of yellow. And I thought, again, I'll try and keep this idea where it's a little bit lighter here. So you can see uh, with the, the colours I've got here, got some really light yellows. And then we'll start to go down a bit and then as we get towards the edges and have something of a, beat, uh, a little bit uh, deeper yellow. So all I do is get it. So there's a little point on here and press it in the middle. And so we, here we are, the painting is finished. Just going to let it thoroughly dry and then we will put on some, um, well, it's an, uh, a UV varnish that saves it from the colours fading. Um, well, this is flowers. I'm into flowers at the moment. Um, I go through phases, but in particular at the moment, um, my inspiration has come from a friend of mine called Amy and she's got this amazing Instagram a channel called The Lockdown Gardener. It's full of super little videos and ideas and things you can do in the garden. It's very naturally filmed and it is just a delight to watch. So really check it out, The Lockdown Gardener uh, on Instagram. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and uh, we'll see you soon.
Bye for now.